does a serious solution of a differential equation converge? And for what values of x? Is there a way you can find out? Well, sometimes we can use the ratio test, as you will see in the first example. And sometimes you cannot use the ratio test, so you can only hope that the solution converges, as you will see in the second example. We'll start with the first example with the differential equation y prime equals y. Of course, we know the solution, but it's just to illustrate the method. So if you use the power series, sum n from 0 to infinity, cn x to the power n, and if you plug this in, we've seen this in an earlier example, then we got cn plus 1 equals cn divided by n plus 1. And from this we could determine all cn explicitly. And using this relationship, we can see uh, whether our power series converge or not and for which values of x, because we can use the ratio test. So what's the ratio test? We compute an plus 1 divided by an. Well, an plus 1 equals cn plus 1 times x to the power n plus 1, and an equals cn times x to the power n. And we now have an explicit relation between the two, so we can plug that in. So we find uh, x divided by n plus 1. Then, in order to apply the ratio test, we take absolute value and take the limit n to infinity. And then we see that we have to take the limit n to infinity x over n plus 1 for fixed x. Uh, so that means that this limit equals 0 for all values of x, which means that this is smaller than 1, which means that our power series converges for all values of x. Of course, we know that because we get y of x equals each power x. Uh, but you see that you can use a ratio test to establish that as well. Let's now look at a second example, which is less trivial. What happens if we try to draw y prime equals y squared? Take some initial value, y0 equals 1. OK, let's use the power series method first. So we set y uh, to some n from 0 to infinity, cn times x to the power n, compute y prime, and we can write down what uh, y is. So c0 plus c1 times x plus c2 times x squared plus c3 times x cubed. And then we plug in the uh, initial condition, y0 equals 1. And that means that if we plug in x equals 0, all the higher order terms disappear. And I'm only left with c0, which equals 1. So we get 1 over here. OK, next we want to plug this into the differential equation, where we have y prime equals y squared. So we compute y squared equals y times y. And this gives a terrible mess, because you have an infinite series times an infinite series, so you get a very big product with all kinds of cross terms. We get a, for y squared we get a 1 times 1, gives a 1. What do we get with an x? A c1 times x plus a c1 times x. What do we get with x squared? Well, c1 times c1 times x squared, but we also get a c2 times x squared times 1 and a 1 times c2 times x squared, etc. So, if we just work out the first terms, we get this over here. And the next term with the x cubed would involve even more terms. Well, writing down what y prime is is easy, of course, that's not a problem. And then we compare, because y prime has to be equal to y squared. So we get from the constant terms 1 equals c1, 2 times c1 equals 2 times c2, and 3 times c3 equals c1 squared plus 2 times c2, so the expressions over here. So we know immediately c1 equals 1, 2c2 equals 2 times c1, so c2 also has to be equal to 1. And in this case we see, oh, c1 squared plus 2 times c2 is 3, so c3 also happens to be equal to 1. So what do we see? Well, of x equals 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed, plus higher order terms. However, as you see, uh, expressions become complicated, is uh, all the time more complicated. So it's not so clear to find a general expression of C4, C5, C6 in terms of the others. It's not so clear what it should be. So how can we apply the ratio test? Well, we cannot in this case. For what values of x does the power series converge? We don't know, because we cannot apply the ratio test. OK, for x equals 0, everything is fine. But for bigger x, it's not clear at all for what values, the, uh, for what values of x this power series is going to converge if 
enough at all. In this case, we can see what's going on because we can find an analytic solution in another way to illustrate what can happen. Uh, y prime equals y squared, we can separate it, we get y to the power minus dy equals 1 dx, we can integrate left and right uh, uh, with respect to y on the left, with respect to x on the right, so we get <coughs> minus y to the power minus 1 equals x plus a constant, plug in the constant, uh, x equals 0, y equals 1, and you get an x minus 1 on the right hand side, and solve for y, we see y of x equals 1 over 1 minus x, and indeed y of, four of 0 equals 1. And now you see that something is going wrong if x starts to grow. Everything is fine up till x equals 1, but at x equals 1 your solution is going to blow up. You see it from the analytic solution, you don't see it at all from the power series solution over here. So a power series solution may uh, give you a nice converging solution, but the problem is in this, with this method you often don't know beforehand whether your solution will converge and for what's values of x. So be careful with this method.